Um, and then finally, probably the more commonly used um, visual is a phylogenetic tree. So this will represent all of um, the nodes um, on a phylogenetic tree according to their distances. Um, so I'm going to briefly cover some of the um, ways in which we can customize this visual. Um, layouts are usually the most common, commonly changed thing. So we start by default with a weighted dendrogram that's based on the genetic distances that we've calculated. But you can also look at it as just a tree where each split represents a generation and the, the bar at the bottom just kind of counts how many parents along that tree all the way back to uh, the beginning. Um, we've seen the weighted dendrogram. There's also the unweighted dendrogram, which will force it to align all the individuals um, according to the ID at the far right. Um, and then we can also switch the different layouts. So right now we've been looking at a horizontal one, but the circular layout is a much more common um, way to look at large numbers of sequences, especially when you reach into the hundreds and the thousands. Um, again here, um, it, it renders on screen the distances at each um, individual, distances between them, and then distances along the paths of each branch. Um, there are a lot of other visuals, as you can see, that you know, specify like what the corners look like, if they're straight or rounded, or what the label sizes are, um, similar to a lot of the other visuals um, that you're used to. So here you can see the label sizes changing, where they go, um, et cetera. So those are kind of the high level visuals um, that you can access um, to visualize sequence data um, in microbe trace.